Good day, students. Since today we will be having PE test, and I want you to listen to me well so that you can recall everything that you are going to answer in your PE test or questions. Okay. So this review is entitled First Semester Mathematics PE Test 2. Review grade two academic year 2021 to 2022. Okay, so here, look at my example here. Can we listen to the instruction? It says expand the following numbers. Again, expand the following numbers. As you can see here in the example, we have 982 equals 900 plus 80 plus two, okay? So you have to follow the instruction. Here in number one, that's 56, right? So how are you going to expand that number? Yes, of course, you have to write 50 plus six. How about number two, 360? Yes, of course, you have to write in this way, 300 plus 60 plus zero, okay? How about the number three, 519? Okay, so that is 500 plus 10 plus nine, okay? Nine is in the ones place and 10 is in the tens place and five is in the hundreds place. How about number four, 988? Yes, of course, you have to write in this way, 900 plus 80 plus eight, okay? How about number five, 757? It's very easy, right? You just write like this, 700 plus 50 plus seven, okay? Now, how about here, write the symbol less than or greater than and equal in the box. Okay, number six, 90 minus five, box 90 plus five. So what will you write here? Is it less than, greater than or equal? What do you think? Yes, of course, you have to write the greater than because here, although they have the same in numbers, but Signs are not the same, okay? In the first one here, 90 minus five, and the second one is 90 plus five. So you should write the greater than sign, okay? Number seven, 615 box 156. Number seven, 615, Box 156, what do you think? What will you write here? Is it less than, greater than, or equal? Yes, very good. Since 615 is bigger than 156, so you have to write greater than, okay? So 615 is greater than 156. Number eight. 69 box 60 plus nine. 69 box 60 plus nine. Okay, what do you think? What, what will you write here? Yes, that is equal because 69 box 60 plus nine, they are equal. Okay, next, write the following numbers in words, okay. How do you write numbers in two words? Example, number nine, 660. So you have to write in this way, 660, okay? Number 10, 505 or 505. Okay, how do you write this number in two words? That's very easy. Just write the word five and hundred and five. So you will read this in this way, 
505. Okay. Number 11. Listen carefully. What is the symbol of addition? What is the symbol of addition? A, B, C, D. Okay, so you have to choose the right answer that related to the question. Okay, okay, so what is the symbol of addition here? Yes, of course, the symbol of addition is in B, so you have to encircle. Number 12, what is the short way to write centimeter? What is the short way to write centimeter? A, B, C, D. So what will you use? Or what is the short way to write centimeter? Yes, the short way to write centimeter is in B, CM for centimeter, or centimeter in short, CM. Okay, number 13. How many centimeters are there in one meter? Again, how many centimeters are there in one meter? A. 1,000, B, 10, C, 100, D, 1. Okay, what do you think? How many centimeters are there in one meter? Yes, there are 100 centimeters in one meter. So the answer here is 100. Number 14, where do descending orders start with? Again, where do descending orders start with? A, longest to shortest. B, smallest to biggest. C, biggest to smallest. D, biggest to biggest. What do you think? Where do descending orders start with? Yes. Start in biggest, from biggest to smallest, okay? Number 15, which of the following does not belong to the group? Again, which of the following does not belong to the group? A, add, B, minus, C, total, D, all together. Okay, what's your answer here? It should be minus, because minus is belong to subtraction. And add total and all together as well. They are all the same in meaning. And they are all belong to addition. Very good. Okay, here we have problem solving. Kindly listen to me first. I'm going to read the instruction. Okay, so this time let me borrow your attention. Solve the given word problem by showing your solution. Again, solve the given word problem by showing your solution. Number one, the price of a shirt, 569 baht, and the trouser cost 230 baht. How much do they cost altogether? Again, the price of a shirt is 569 baht, and the trouser cost 230 baht, how much do they cost altogether? So from the word altogether, what will you do? Are you going to subtract or add? Very good. So the number sentence here, it should be 569 plus 230. 
So at first you have to write the price of a shirt is 569, but plus the trouser cost 230, but now let's try to add. Nine plus zero is equal to nine and six plus three is equal to nine and five plus two is equal to seven. So to answer this question, how much do they cost altogether? They cost 799, but or all together. So the answer here is 799. Do you understand? Very good. Number two example. Kamon Chanok has 780 pieces of cookies. She only sells 436. How many cookies are left? Again, Kamon Chanok has 780 pieces of cookies. She only sells 436. How many cookies are left? So from the word left, what are you going to do? Are you going to subtract or add? Yes, so the number sentence here, it should be 780 minus 436. Okay, so at first you have to write Kamon Chanok has 780 pieces of cookies minus she only sells 436 pieces of cookies. Now let's subtract. Zero minus six cannot be, so we need to borrow in the tens place. Cancel eight becomes seven, and zero in the ones place become 10. So 10 minus six is equal to four, and seven minus three is equal to four, and seven minus four is equal to three. Now, to answer this question, how many cookies are left? There are 344 pieces of cookies left. So the answer here is 344. Number three, some kid has 504 fish and sells 192. How many fish are left? Again, some kid has 504 fish and sells 192. How many fish are left? Okay, what do you think? Yes, you have to subtract. So the number sentence here is 504 minus 192. Some kid has 504 fish minus he sells out of it 192 fish or fishes. Okay, so we can now subtract four minus two that is equal to two. Zero minus nine cannot be, so we need to borrow in the hundreds place. Cancel five becomes four and zero in the tens place become 10. 10 minus nine is equal to one. And four minus one is equal to three. So how many fish are left? Fish, those are left, 312. Answer 312. Very easy, right? So that's the end of our review. And good luck to your P test today. And don't forget to send it to our line so that we can check it properly. Bye-bye.